Hello my loves and welcome back to my channel. Today I have another foundation review for you guys because I just love doing foundation reviews. Lately I've been obsessed with foundation, just like testing them out and stuff. So yeah, I'm excited for this one. The last one I did was the TikTok Viral KVD Good Apple Bomb Foundation. So if you haven't seen that, I'll leave a link to it up here. Go check it out. Um, that was a good video. So let's go ahead and get into this one because I am excited for this one as well. So today we're going to be reviewing the Fenty Beauty Ease Drop Blurring Skin Tint. So tinted moisturizers have been a thing lately, like people are obsessed with it. They're obsessed with the more natural look, um, just giving a nice little blur to the skin. So yeah, so many companies are coming out with tinted moisturizers. I really like the shape of this bottle. It's very, very cute and different. So I believe that there are 25 colors. I see 25 on the Sephora website, which is where I got mine from. It is a lightweight, buildable light to medium coverage skin tint that leaves skin looking blurred and smooth in flexible shades for all so you can range between a few colors like my color right now is 14 but I could have also gone with 13 I believe I didn't actually check any of the other colors but 13 and 14 were actually pretty good for me it is free from parabens and phthalates and it is vegan gluten free and cruelty free it visibly evens out your complexion with a blurred effect a hydro blend complex and humidity sweat and transfer resistant formula has a smooth texture that layers well with primer and skincare so I am ready to get into this now some disclaimer as far as my skin is concerned my skin's not very dry it has its dry moments but it's more normal to combination skin I have some acne right here which is getting on my nerves I get a lot of my acne around here and here and um, so I have the scars and everything so I want to see how much of that it covers now I do understand that this is not a full cover foundation so I don't expect like amazing full coverage that um, just hides all my blemishes it is a skin tint so you have to be kind of like you know understanding of that that it is just a skin tint now I have tried skin tints that are more like tinted moisturizers where they don't really cover anything they just have a slight little tint but if I had to probably use like a whole lot of it for it to even cover much so I'm hoping it's a little different with this because I do need some coverage but on a more everyday basis if you wanted to wear something maybe this might be a good one for you so let's go ahead and see how this works so First off, I did just put moisturizer on my skin. That's all I have on my skin, which is normal. So now I'm gonna go ahead and prime my skin and I'm gonna do that with the Touch and Soul Pretty Filter Icy Sherbet Primer. So this is actually something I got in my April BoxyCharm, so I'm gonna go ahead and use that. I have already used it before, so it's not something that's new. So it does say to shake well, and then it also says that um, a few drops with fingers or a full body foundation brush that um, they sell separately but um, you can use a brush or basically your fingers let's just see how that looks so it's actually not that bad it's not very a uh, watery for it to like really um, not stay on the skin as well pigmented but um, that's actually really good Ooh. okay you know what let's start here Get on my skin Make sure I don't get any on my top. A little bit on my forehead. Now we're just going to use our fingers. Just like I would do with a moisturizer. Ooh, I like how that looks. It feels very lightweight for sure. Oh, ooh, ooh. I mean, it doesn't cover like a whole lot, but just the way that it just kind of makes my skin just look better. Wow. That looks good already, you guys. I mean, like, my skin, you can still see I have the blemishes and everything, but already looks a little better to me. I don't know. What do you guys think? But I'm going to add a little bit more, and I'm going to actually use a brush as well. So let me just add... A little bit more to this side, even though I think this is my bad side. So this is the Zoeva Face Paint Brush in 109. I'm just going to blend that in. Like, I like it with both, but my skin looks good. 
Ooh, it has like a nice little glow. I like this. Like I said, it doesn't cover completely like, oh my gosh, crazy, but it's looking good. So let's try to cover that right there. All right, we just added a little bit more. It is getting a little streaky with this brush. So as you can see, it didn't cover that up completely, but it did cover most of my discoloration there. And this is obviously without a color corrector because normally I wear a color corrector, but I feel like with a skin tint, um, color corrector will show right through. But I love the way this makes my skin look so far. Let me just show you guys what my skin looks like right now. So over here, you can still see like the discoloration, still see that, but at the same time, guys, I feel like my skin just looks better. You know what, like it is like my skin, but better. This is not full coverage, but it's definitely buildable. If you wanna go for a more of a natural look, but you wanna cover up just a little bit, just blur everything just a little bit, I think this is a good one so far. We'll test it out. I'm just adding a little bit more to my problem areas. See, the thing is, normally I don't wear any foundation. So I feel like my whole thing is if I'm going to bother to wear foundation, I want it to cover my blemishes, right? But this is something for you to kind of show off your skin a little bit, but still have a little bit of coverage so that way, you know, you can be, I guess, a little bit more comfortable in your skin or like just feel like you have something on your skin, but it does give you like a nice glow. Yeah, I don't like it with this brush because it is definitely giving it streaks, but it could be the brush. I'm just gonna go into a sponge even though I said I wouldn't use a sponge. It's just patting it down. So far, so good. I like how it looks. I mean, like I said, it doesn't get rid of like the blemishes completely, but it does mask it a little bit and it does make your skin look so pretty. Like so pretty. There it is. I think it looks really good. Ooh. This is exciting. Like, look at that glow. I like it. You know what, guys? It's not very super, super like, um, like lotiony, you know, it is looking like it's like drying down a little bit, but like it's giving your skin still that glow, but it's not like to a point where it's like it can come off easily. But it is just settling in and it still makes my skin look like skin, just makes it look a little better. So it's something I can quickly put on just to mask like the pores and all that and then call it. Like it's it's it looks good. It looks good. The foundation has been applied on my skin at 2.02 today. I don't know why I always do my videos a little bit later, so I'm gonna try to give it as long as I can just to see how it's looking. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my skin with the concealer and all of that, and I'll be right back. All right, so all my base products have been done in like 10 minutes, so I basically just added just a little bit of powder underneath my eyes. The rest was just the powder contour, like a little bit of a glowy Wander Beauty blush, uh, just to give it a little bit more of a glow. And that's about it. I haven't done much, but I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyes and I'll be right back. All right, guys, I am back with my look completed. Um, this whole eyeshadow and everything is from a BoxyCharm that I got, so if you wanna see that, I'll leave a link to it up here. But anyways, it's 317 right now. Again, you know I have uh, put the foundation on at 202 I believe so um, it's been a little over an hour and as far as how my skin looks it still looks great it looks amazing I do have a little creasing right here which is actually compared to a lot of other stuff is actually not bad um, again I didn't powder or anything so I don't know if I should but that's just from natural talking creasing happens I don't know why I was holding my breath for a second because I was like <laughs> All right, you get to see my skin. But um, yeah, the little creasing happened. Maybe I should just powder it because normally I would, but I will tell you, um, it's not too bad, like the creasing. 
is not too bad. The only place that I have powdered is underneath my eyes when I concealed, even though the concealer is not doing too well right now. And also um, my contour. That's the only thing that I have powdered. This is more of like a creamy blush from Wander Beauty. So um, anywhere else, I have not powdered. Maybe I will lightly powder, you know? Because that's what I would do with the foundation anyway. So let me just do that. I'm going to take my Huda Beauty in Blondie and just lightly powder the areas that I'm concerned with. And normally I would add a setting spray, so should I do that? And this is by Maven Beauty, which I've been loving a lot lately, the rose water setting spray. It just looks so good on the skin. So far everything looks good, the skin looks good. I'm not actually upset with like what you can see because it's not a lot. Like, the blemish, whatever, it's fine. I don't really mind it, but I think the skin looks really, really good. I'll try to do updates every so often, but I'll try to keep this on as long as I can, and I'll come back and show you guys how it wears. And so yeah, so stay tuned for that. Okay guys, so this is what my skin looks right now, up close and personal with my phone. Um, I'm not too mad at it. Yes, you can see the discoloration, you can see like the lines and all that. It looks like my skin, but it just makes my skin look so much better and a little bit more finished so yeah that's what that looks like okay guys so this is my skin in daylight um i just got off from filming uh doesn't seem to have any separation but it's only been an hour since i've applied this everything looks so pretty i like it so far so good and i like how this looks on the skin even with all the blemishes and everything that i have so i'll come back in a little bit and we will see what it looks like sit Ready? Go! Alright guys, so it's about 520 right now and the skin still looks really really good. Let me show it to you guys in the sun. I'm like moving in. Alright, so it still looks really really good. The creasing is nothing that's like extra i feel like it looks nice actually compared to other foundations it does have a little bit of a dewiness but i like it it looks really really healthy so i think it looks really really nice you can see all the eyeshadow sparkles but yeah i think it looks really really nice so i'll be back in a little bit and let you know what else is going on all right guys i am back it is 11 12 and it is nine hours later i am exhausted but i'm here to give you guys my final little review so my creasing just got just a little bit more defined i guess but i'm actually not that upset because with other foundations it's actually even worse um everywhere else actually it looks fine it's still glowy but everything else still looks really good my lipstick is like all gone but these did last pretty long. They are carroty, so if you guys are interested, I'll leave a link to it up here. I did do a little video on that. But um, everywhere else, I think it looks really good. It does look a little oily, just a tad bit, but actually like not to a point where I'm really upset with it. It looks a little bit more glowy, not like oily and greasy. I think it still looks really good for nine hours later. I thought I'd show it to you guys on my phone so you guys can see what it looks like. It's just a little bit on the like oily side or like but it looks more dewy than oily and the major areas are right here where it's like a little oily like that over there but nothing too bad but it's mainly like this that's like showing but it's not as much as i would have had with a foundation and yeah i think everywhere else it looks good for a skin tint it laid really well it still stayed pretty good and it worked really well with other products so I really like it. And I wore a mask and everything and had like a full day and I ate and everything. So guys, I'm still, I'm very happy with this. Honestly, I think I would use this, um, like this for an event, but I would cover up the areas that are like my hyperpigmentation with like a concealer or another foundation that like actually like covers. Especially around my smile lines, I would definitely use this because I feel like the creasing is less with this than I would with other foundations. I think it's a really great skin tint, especially if you have uh, skin problems and you want to try a tint, I think this is a good one. This is definitely buildable, so 
I'm really, really happy with it. But yeah, leave me a comment letting me know what you guys think. And also, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And please, please, please subscribe to my channel. And click that little bell icon so you get notified every time I upload. I thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much. Bye.